By some accounts today in many African states, billions of dollars worth of illicit arms trade takes place every year. These guns in return have fueled and escalated conflicts across Africa. In DR Congo, the Central African Republic, South Sudan, Somalia, illegal gun ownership continues to trigger abrupt conflicts. And the situation remains to be alarming. What also makes it more alarming is that in terms of arms production, Africa is really not in the top three. It's nowhere near those arms that are being produced. But we, are, we end up being the recipients or having the effects when those arms are not being properly managed, they're not being properly regulated, we do not know where they are. So all efforts are ongoing in, in terms of uh, getting these arms uh, uh, regulated. African Union member states have a pact to silence guns across the continent by 2020. And now, as part of its measures to help implement this deal, the African Union wants to introduce May 25 as an amnesty day for surrender and collection of illegally owned weapons to designated national law enforcement agencies. In return, people who hand over illegally owned arms should not face arrests or prosecution as a way of acknowledging the goodwill shown and embracing the culture of peace. Member states have been doing it themselves in their own areas where there have been conflicts, amnesties have been offered by member states, whether you mention in the, those that are involved in the Lord's Resistance Army, those that are doing uh, Boko Haram operations. Even in Somalia, there have been efforts by the national government to extend amnesty to, to participants who are on the other side of the conflict. It was noted though that in order to have it even more to have it more impact if it could be done as member states because some of these uh, participants in the conflicts they cross borders they go to other countries so if they get arrested there and this amnesty works then it creates space for the for an opportunity for peace uh, to succeed the au calls member states to act as one to assure guns in africa are silenced in the year 2020 we cannot do this alone we need to, to do this together, whether it is with the international partners, it is amongst ourselves. Ever since the African Peace and Security Architecture was developed as a concept, it has got three main principles inside it. You prevent conflict, you mediate it, if it spreads, you try and manage it. And the last one, of course, is uh, getting those countries that have, been conflict, that have been in conflict to be reconstructed. Since he came to the AUC's high office, Chairperson Mosa Faki Mohammed has vowed to work towards a peaceful Africa. Chairperson Mohammed went to Mogadishu as his first foreign trip right after taking office and immediately after to South Sudan and recently to the Lake Chad region. Gun control policy irregularities across Africa's borders and lack of proper implementation of agreements in combating illicit weapon flows into the continent are among other issues still posing the biggest challenge in assuring Africa's guns are silenced within the tight deadline of 2020. But still, the African Union believes it is possible to see the pact implemented if Africa works as one. Group Tala CGTN, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.